Hi. Welcome to Discovery Quests. I hope you all are doing great today. Geological Monuments of Ancient Egypt Ancient Egypt is one of the greatest and oldest civilizations in the world. They were also better known for their incredible monumental architecture. Many of them represent the concept of afterlife exist in ancient Egypt. The art and architecture developed by the ancient Egyptian civilizations also influenced different cultures around the world. Following our list of 10 great ancient Egyptian monuments. Number 10 Valley of the Kings. The Valley of Kings in the west bank of Nile was the principal burial place of pharaohs of New Kingdom of Ancient Egypt, 1539 BC to 1075 BC. The valley contains some 60 tombs and chambers. The site also used as burial place of queens, priests and other notable people of ancient Egypt. Mummification was used for preserving royal bodies at that time. It was excavation process between 2005 and 2000, and it helped the archaeologist to discover most of the tombs and chambers. Today it is one of the most important archaeological site in the world. UNESCO also listed Valley of Kings as a World Heritage Site in 1979. The underground tombs of pharaohs also contains with materials like cloths, wines, furnitures and jewelry. The royal tombs also stocked with many sacred objects. Ancient Egyptians believed that such objects would help the dead bodies to achieve eternal life. The tombs discovered in the site were built using limestones and sedimentary rocks. The decoration within the royal tombs of Valley of Kings also depict ancient Egyptian mythology. 9 Temple of Hatshepsut Temple of Hatshepsut also known as Deir El Bar Temple located opposite to Luxor City, near Valley of Kings. The ancient Egyptian word, Deir El Bar Mas Monastery of North. The temple was dedicated for Amun, the local deity of ancient Egyptian city Thebes. The temple was built by Pharaoh Motkare Hatshepsut in 15th century BC. The construction of the temple was highly influenced by the architectural style of earlier Deir El Bari temple in the bank of Nile. It was built on three terraced levels. There is also a 100-foot causeway leading to top of the temple, to a height of 30 meters. The walls of the temple also illustrate the important life events of female Pharaoh, Motkare Hatshepsut. The relief sculpture within center terrace of the temple represent the divine birth of Hatshepsut. The punt colonnade, long sequence of columns in the temple also depict Pharaoh's journey for finding out more trees for decorating her temple. Number 9 Medinet Hobo Medinet Hobo also known as Mortuary Temple of Ramses III, a huge temple complex located in Luxor of Egypt. The temple was built by 3,500 years ago to honor the memory of great Ramses III Pharaoh. The entire complex is surrounded by partially destroyed ancient wall. The outer wall of the temple were decorated with battle reliefs of Ramses III Pharaoh. There is also funerary chamber of Ramses III kept inside one of hall of the temple. Many valuable jewelry, cloths and other goods are also kept inside his chamber. Medinet Hobu, also spelled Medinet Hobu, the necropolis region of western Thebes in Upper Egypt, that is enclosed by the outer walls of the mortuary temple built there by Ramses III, 1187 to 56 BCE. This temple, which was also dedicated to the god Amon, was carved with religious scenes and portrayals of Ramses' wars against the Libyans, Nubians, and the Sea People. It was situated within a fortified enclosure wall, with remarkable entrance towers, imitating Syrian Migdal fortresses, on the east side. A royal palace was attached at the south of the open forecourt of this temple, while priests' dwellings and administrative units lay on either side of the temple. Number 8 Pyramid of Djoser Pyramid of Djoser is the first ever pyramid built by Egyptians. The pyramid was built for Pharaoh Djoser in 27th century BC the step pyramid standing to a height of 60 meters, and consist of six layer. It have a flat roof, structure and sloping sides. There were 11.6 cubic million of stones and clay employed for the construction of Pyramid of Djoser. The pyramid was the largest stone-cut structure of its time. 
It is actually situated in a large complex that encompasses 35 acres of land, contains temples, chapels and number of other monuments. It is also considered as monumental symbol of crown. There is also tunnel chambers and galleries that have total length of 6 kilometers. The burial place for Pharaoh and other members of royal family also located between the tunnels. The burial rooms were also stocked with jewelry and other goods. Number 7 Luxor Temple Luxor Temple a great ancient Egyptian temple complex that contains six temples in total. The temples were dedicated to Amun, Mut, and Khonsu, deities of ancient Egyptian city Thebes. The site is also known for one of most important religious festival in ancient Egypt known as Opet Festival. The statues of important deities Thebes, Amun, Mut and Khonsu, were sailed to Nile River at its time. The temple was constructed in 14th century BC using sandstones. The complex remained into disrepair for a long time. In 320 BC the temple was reconstructed by Alexander the Great. There are many open areas within the temple complex. They were used for different kind of worship during New Kingdom period, between 1539 BC and 1075 BC. The massive pylon towers at Luxon Temple were recorded with scenes of militarily triumphs by different pharaohs. The six colossal statues of ancient Egyptian Prince Ramesses at the main entrance is the another notable attraction in the site. There are also wall painting that represent the divine birth of Pharaoh Karnak Temple. Karnak is a large ancient temple complex situated in the bank of Nile. The site covers a vast area of 100 hectares. It was originally known as Ipet Isat meaning for most sacred places. It is the second largest temple complex in the world. Karnak complex contain three main temples, number of outer temples, chapels and other monuments. The main temples of Karnak complex was dedicated for Amun, the god of ancient Egyptian city Thebes, goddess Mut, and god Montu. The construction of Karnak Temple Complex started by 4,000 years ago and continued for next 1,300 years. More than 13 pharaohs were worked for Karnak Complex. The temples in the site also represent different types of worship existed in the history ancient Egyptian culture. Precinct of Amun Re is the most notable section of Karnak Temple Complex. It is dedicated for Amun the god of ancient Egyptian city of Thebes. It contains tall columns, tons weighing tapering monuments and several colossal statues. Sandstones are mainly used for the construction of a moon re temple. The second main temple located at the southern part of the complex dedicated for goddess Mut. There is also a crescent-shaped sacred lake located near the temple. Another notable temple is located at the northern part of the complex which is dedicated for war god Montu. It is smaller than that of other two important temples. Number 5 Colossi of Memnon Colossi of Memnon is two gigantic statues that depict Amenhotep III Pharaoh. The statues were built in 1350 BC as guards for Mortuary Temple. The statues were carved out from quartzite sandstone. Both statues are in seated position of Pharaoh with hands on knee and gazing towards the river. They standing to a height of 75 feet, and have a weight of 750 tons. Both men and nature caused several damages to both statues. But both statues are still impressive and attracts thousands of tourists every year. The Colossi of Memnon, also known as El Colossat or El Salamat, are two monumental statues representing Amenhotep III BCE, of the 18th dynasty of Egypt. They are located west of the modern city of Luxor and face east looking toward the Nile River. The statues depict the seated king on a throne ornamented with imagery of his mother, his wife, the god Happy, and other symbolic engravings. The figures rise 60 feet, 18 meters, high and weigh 720 tons each, both carved from single blocks of sandstone. They were constructed as guardians for Amenhotep III's mortuary complex which once stood behind them. Earthquakes, floods, 
and the ancient practice of using older monuments and buildings as resource material for new structures all contributed to the disappearance of the enormous complex. Little of it remains today except for the two colossal statues which once stood at its gates. Their name comes from the Greek hero Memnon who fell at Troy. Memnon was an Ethiopian king who joined the battle on the side of the Trojans against the Greeks and was killed by the Greek champion Achilles. Memnon's courage and skill in battle, however, elevated him to the status of a hero among the Greeks. Greek tourists, seeing the impressive statues, associated them with the legend of Memnon instead of Amenhotep III and this link was also suggested by the 3rd century BC Egyptian historian Manithou who claimed Memnon and Amenhotep III were the same person. Number 4 Abu Simbel Temples Abu Simbel contains two massive rock temples located in west bank of Nile. The temples were constructed by Pharaoh Ramesses II between 1264 BC and 1244 BC, were carved out in mountainside. Abu Simbel was dedicated to sun gods Amon Re and Re Horakht. There are four 69-foot tall colossal statues of Ramesses II located at the entrance. After long time the temple abandoned because of its remote location. It was rediscovered back in 1813 by Swiss Orientalist Jean-Louis Burkat. Abu Simbel temples contain series of rock-cutting halls and rooms. The halls contain Osirid statues of Pharaoh Ramesses. The halls are also connected to inner chambers of the temple. On every 22nd February and 22nd October the sun rays will illuminate the back wall of innermost statues of four sun gods. It is the most outstanding feature of Abu Simbel Temple. See the Great Sphinx of Giza. Great Sphinx of Giza is the largest monolith statue in the world located in the west bank of Nile in Giza. It is a large limestone statue of mythical creature with lion's body and human head. It is 73.5 meter in length and 66.34 meters in height. Great Sphinx is also the oldest known monument in the world. Archaeologists estimated that the monument was built between 2558 BC and 2532 BC. The natural erosion and man activity over time caused many damage to face of the monument. The purpose of the Great Sphinx still remains as a mystery. The Great Sphinx got buried in sand after the abandonment of Giza necropolis. The first excavation process at the site dated back to 1388 BC. Several excavation process were also performed by archaeologists throughout the centuries. The entire monument was finally excavated between 1925 and 1936. After the excavation archaeologist found that the one meter nose is missing from the Sphinx. There is also a rumor that the nose of Sphinx was broken by Napoleon's army. Number 2 Great Pyramid of Giza Great Pyramid of Giza is one of seven wonders of ancient worlds situated in Giza necropolis of Egypt. It is also the oldest and largest one of all three pyramids built for Pharaohs Khufu, Khofra and Nka in Giza complex. The Pyramid of Giza was built between 2589 BC and 2504 BC more than 2.3 million stone blocks were used for its construction. It have a height of 481 feet and it remained as tallest man-made monument in the world for long 3,800 years. The mortar used for the construction of Giza pyramid stronger than that of stones. Archaeologists believed that that kind of mortar can't be reproduced nowadays. Pyramid of Giza contains three chambers, first one is located at underground it is carved into bedrock. The chambers of both queen and king situated above ground. The king's chamber was decorated with granite and its roof made of nine enormous slabs that weights more than 400 tons in total. There is also a 8 meter high and 47 meter long grand gallery that leads to king's chamber. That's it for today. We will meet with another interesting topic very soon.